Okay, second round. Yes, still playing first. Yeah, this is still a keep. I think this is what we can probably expect from our deck. I mean, it's not 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 an excellent hand by any stretch, but it's totally reasonable, and I think we're going to be seeing quite a bit of this. So let's get this trapper on online here, and let's see what we're up against. Uh oh, ooh, this is bad news. This is very bad news for us. Um, it's so bad, in fact, that. I'm going to offer the trade here, <laughs> and I don't... Oh, he's going to take it? Okay, I, I'm quite happy with that. I mean, we could be up against something different that I don't know about, but like letting him have a, a Rebel Searcher against our deck is just insane because he can just grind us out. Like, we just can't keep up. All right. Um. Yeah, let's just uh, cycle this thing. I, I would have rather just drawn a land, obviously, but we need to hit our land drops here. So, your move, uh, Stinkweed Imp, is an issue for the deck, but not a huge one. We can bounce it. We can tap it. We can. Th there's ways we can interact with it. We can trade it off. All right. So this is a non-black creature, and there's the Blight Speaker. All right. So immediately back to bad shape again. Obviously, Pepper Smoke is quite good in this matchup. I think I'm just going to play the Archmage here. I could also play a Mechanist. If I hit one of our one drops, I can play the Mechanist as well. If I play the Archmage, I can leave up the ability so that he can't play non-creature spells. Actually, I think I'm going to go for the Mechanist because if I play the Archmage, he's just going to activate this and just be like, yeah, I'm not. I'm just not going to play the spell, which is, I mean... Either way, I'm not doing good. Should probably rather encourage him to just play stuff from his hand than start activating this, because this is how he's going to get way ahead of us. Um, yeah, I can play any of them. So we bricked. Go ahead. And we have uh, interesting traumatic visions here, potentially. Though I think I feel okay with just running out the Archmage here and saying go. Maybe I should just start attacking him. I'm going to have to trade that thing off anyway, most likely. Might be better to just start, just say, sure, mill yourself for five a few times, and maybe that becomes a win condition for us down the line or something. I guess because sitting here and doing nothing isn't great for us. I could just attack with Glenelend or Archmage into it next turn and start trading Persist for Dredge activations and such, but probably better to just start beating down. All right, he's got another Blight Speaker here as well. Ugh. Sure. All right, let's attack here. I 
It's going to make a avian changeling or something. That's awkward. Yeah, that's okay. the bricks so gonna be perilous researching here just sack a swamp or something we need to find some answers pretty quickly I mean these are three unblockables basically and he so far has had a steady stream of, of creatures to get with it too hopefully he just goes for executioner's capsule on something and then I can just perilous research it away I don't think he really will do that. He doesn't have a great reason to. All right, well, he's just going to hard cast a bound in silence. Sure. Resolves. Yep. Let's draw some cards and sack a mechanist here. We're way behind, though. And we draw a capsule that kills nothing, so that's the awkwardest possible, perhaps. Well, at least we get to attack here. Oh, I should have played this capsule first. Yeah, that was dumb. Because if he goes and searches up an avian changeling or something, I'm going to want it. Ugh. Just a little short-sighted. I'm like, well, it doesn't kill anything, so I don't need to kill anything. So, yeah, hey, look, an avian changeling. Fantastic. Great. So he gets to eat my Archmage now. And I get to... Maybe just play a Dismisser here. Man, Dismisser just doesn't do much here either. I think I just have to bite the bullet and play this... Uh, this capsule here. Yep. Yeah, I don't really see how we can win from this position. It's going to be incredibly difficult. All right, let's kill this thing. Wow. Yeah, where was this one I needed it? Looks like he's just mono rebels here. Pretty sweet. Let's take out one of his threats here. Kakusho. All right, well, that gets a little bit more interesting. Um, yeah, I think I'm just going to play Kukusho then. And hope he doesn't have any more Bound in Silence running around in that deck of his. All right, he doesn't. Sweet, so he's out of stuff to search for. Right, this could get interesting. He's out of everything here. So I can dismiss her the stinky dip, hit him. Hit him for five, six, seven, eight. Oh, so close. I guess he can actually capsule this thing, though, so that isn't going to fully work. So I think I just attack him with these two. Oh, he does have something. He didn't use it last turn, though. 
Unless I missed something. Oh, God. He just has another bound in silence. All right. So he has the nuts, and we are going to have an incredibly difficult time now. Um, I might as well attack here. Um, yeah, our perilous research is already in the graveyard, so we don't have that as an out for Kakusho to, you know, swing the tables here. All right, what is going on? Why didn't he do this before? Did I miss something? I must have just missed something. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever seen a deck this good uh, in Modern Masters. Like, he's already shown us four Rebel Searchers, and every single card he's played has been a Rebel. <laughs> That is just unbelievable. Can't block. Let's see what we draw here. Mole Drifter? Another Mechanist. Yeah, I'll take it. Let's see what we get first. Spell Bomb. All right. So what does a spell bomb do for us? Not a ton. Um, this thing trades for anything. This thing trades as well. Yeah, that's fine. I should have played the spell bomb first again. I keep just screwing that up, but this one's less less punishing because even if he goes to get something, I'm fine. Yeah, he's content to grind here. He's already blocked, though. <laughs> wow. Just like the sickest deck I've ever seen. This is unbelievable. Uh, play this thing. And I'm going to say go. Probably end up bouncing my own Kakusho here as long as I'm not dead. Are you kidding me? You're not out of Rebels yet? <laughs> this is unbelievable. Wow, another scout? That is five now that he's had. Uh, this is just shocking. So I actually can block here, but he has salt field recluse, so it doesn't actually do anything. So I don't block here. I guess if your your only two non rebel cards are <laughs> this and this, like you're doing okay with your for yourself here. So is Kakusho even gonna do anything for me at this point? I bounce it, I replay it. It can't block, it can attack. Probably our best shot. We might just be dead here anyway, but... Oh my god. Please brick one time. <laughs> yeah, the chances that we beat this deck are incredibly low. I have no idea how he got this deck. Like, I guess we're in Swiss, maybe that's it. I mean, I know that generally Swiss is a little bit worse, but... All right, sure. But that is just absurd. I, 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 In my whole life, I've never seen a deck like that. That is just the craziest thing I've ever seen. Would kill for that. Um, so Echoing Truth is an option here just because we have seen so much redundancy that we can get him back in his hand, but it's still not very good. It's so funny because when, when we traded our trapper for his guy, I thought, well, I kind of got away with one there. Little did we know he had like five other searchers. So he's just like, sure, take it. Don't care. Uh, Torrent of Stone. I mean, having removal would be nice, but I, I don't think that we're going to be able to, to outdo it anyway. Um, Echoing Truth seems a reasonable play, though. All right. 
Let's try to get him here. Yeah, this is a keep. We don't have our best card, which is Pepper Smoke to kill his first Rebel Searcher. <laughs> but so it goes, I suppose. Um, Sprite or Trapper? He's not going to play a one drop, so we're not going to get anything with Sprite. He's going to play a two drop. So yeah, might as well just trap her here then. It gives us the option to tap it down and do something. All right, there's a Rebel Searcher. Um, it's not going to do anything right now anyway. So let's just play a Spell Bomb and just say go here. I mean, I'll trade, though, like if he wants to attack. Amaru Seekers, sure. <laughs> He's considering trading <laughs> this guy. <sighs> Unbelievable. Um... Yeah, I'll trade this off. I was gonna, I was gonna trade the uh, spell setter sprite, but not a big point to that. So this one can actually attack. Mechanist hit something? No. Um, this like this, and we'll say go. I mean, our best case is that he plays another one of these right now, and we get to Echoing Truth him or something. Uh, it's, neither are really great. We just need to get up to this. Basically, this is all we really care about here. Deep Cavern Imp. Take it all. Uh, and actually, let's get rid of this. I think it's going to be a big issue for us down the line. And I, I want to race him, but given the way he played that, I don't think we can. So play a Spell Bomb. I'm going to make him discard here, though. I'm not going to crack one of these yet. I mean, it's tempting to start cracking him for lands, but eh, I don't think we need to quite yet. All right, he ditched Stinkweed Imp, which you can get back at some point. All right, I'm going to bounce this, though, because he can't really replay it. I mean, he can replay it and have to ditch more cards. And there's a Salt Field Recluse. All right, I'm going to cash this thing in. There's a land. And there's another one. All right. I want to get Kakusho going because the Salt Field Recluse basically nullifies like almost all of our threats. So <laughs> now we need something huge and we need him to not have Bound in Silence, though. I can also just bounce my guy and replay it. Like, just try to, like, because I, I feel like Kakusho is going to be strong against him because um, he, he either has to have Bound in Silence or just can't do anything. And that's nice, so let's attack. Make him use his guy. Yep, he did it. He doesn't have anything here? That's interesting. Five, six. The evening is upon us. If he plays Bound in Silence, I can bounce it and get in for five if I want, but I think it's actually just better to just go super long term here and just bounce Kakusho and replay it the next turn. Capsule. Uh, capsule doesn't really matter. Because I get to play Mechanist and Echoing Truth, my Kakusho on end step here. So I'm, this will be a pretty good sweet play for us, I think. Oh, here's a Pestermite, too. All right, so attack you. Play a Mechanist. It'll be a little awkward if we hit a <laughs> Spell Bomb because I'm not going to play it. But Or actually, they're both in the yard anyway. Or an Executioner's Capsule, but I'm not going to play it. Um, I, I certainly wouldn't play it into this anyway, so I guess it's not that awkward. Say go, and then I'm going to Echoing Truth, Kakusho, and then replay it and just hope it sticks this time. That's that's basically our plan. Not in love with the plan, but I like it. I think it's I think it gives us the best shot to beat this guy. He traded off this Amru Scout and somehow hasn't found another one yet, and that's just shocking to me that he that he offered that trade. I mean, I didn't offer it, so he must have assumed that I didn't want it, but still, like, it's pretty crazy. All right. 
get this guy back. All of the Kukushos come back to hand. He could like path it here. That's instant speed. What am I missing? Oh, he's gonna hit that. Yeah, sure. I was like, oh crap! I thought I, I knew he had that option. I just didn't think he would take it right there. But I did not know. <laughs> I was worried that he's gonna have something sweet there. Oh, Marsh flitter too. Sure. Play Kakusho. Your move. Yeah. Well, wasn't gonna attack anyway. I guess. All right, so he's got to have another bound in silence. And then even then, I get to play like Marsh Flitter and maybe catch back up. All right, so of course he has it. And a Deep Cavern Imp. Um, so he's going to have to discard yet another card here. And I'm going to take this. I, no, yeah, I don't really like love that attack from him, but I don't really care either. Uh, so let's play Marsh Flitter. What is this? No, I don't want to trade with somebody right now. Um, let's attack him, and I think I just leave Pestermite here, actually. Does Pestermite do anything? Yeah, a little bit, I guess. I'll just keep it up. See if he wants to get that Stinkweed Imp back yet. I should have... Did I have another Perilous Research? Uh, I do not know the answer to that question. I don't run those. My buddy David does and Dare Me. Those are the guys that, that run those when they go. Four, five, six. Feud Killer's Verdict. You gain 10 life. Putting him at 25. He's already ahead anyway. Okay. I accept my fate here. He has no attacks. And... A 5-5, five, five. and I have both of my spell bombs in the yard. That's a little awkward. Um, does actually... Yeah, this does actually do something. Not a lot, but something. Because I get to use my capsule to kill the uh, guy. The, dra the giant. Oh, that's just a terrible draw. Actually, no, it's not. It'll hold back this warrior. What am I talking about? Oh, no. Well, it sort of will. Okay, well, good luck with that, sir. Uh, two, four. Yeah, I guess I need to keep these goblin rogues around, and I'm just going to dump my hand here. Oh, yes. The grindiest of grinders. And the question is, do I just kill this Saltfield Recluse now? I think the answer is no. I think the answer is no. I want to see what he plays this turn. So the deal is, he can I can block this to kill his, his fatty, but I really want to keep the capsule for when he top decks one of his 100 Rebel Searchers. And that's just like a little bit more important, I think. I mean, this thing is enabling his attacks, which is really awkward, but he already knew I had this anyway. The other thing I can do is just block with this and just keep dredging it back. Doesn't seem great for me, though. Yeah, I'm just going to chump this turn and see what he plays. If he plays nothing, I'll kill the Saltfield Recluse. That's going to enable my attacks with these two guys. All right, so he has a scout, so I must kill that. All right, so we are back in Awkwardsville here. Um, you know, I don't actually have to do it now, though. Let's see what we draw. I've got plenty of mana. And we draw a Dismisser. All right, well, we have a game plan. Although that was one of the few, that was like maybe the one card we could have drawn that I can't cast in addition to this, but that's okay. Um, we'll figure it out because we're going to dismiss this thing eventually. And don't believe that we have any attacks here. No, we do not. So go ahead. I'll probably block with Stinkweed Imp here. 
get it in the graveyard. We can get it back whenever we feel like we need it. <laughs> uh, such a good draw for him. This is <laughs> unbelievable. I mean, everything has to go perfect for that to go. Uh, I'm just so miserable right now. All right. I'll block. He does that. That thing goes there. And we draw something sweet. Oh, um. Yeah, no, I'm just going to draw a card. All right, we'll draw a mechanist. Do, do, do all the cards that we want. I get an attack step here, but it's a pretty unimpressive one. I just get to attack with this guy. Pretty lame. Bring you back down to 21. Yeah, we're, th th this is just getting so ugly. This thing. I mean, <laughs> uh, I still like the way we did it. I like waiting. The problem is that this thing dredges for five, and we're only at 18 cards, so I can do it a couple of times and not die, but it's going to start getting pretty ugly pretty quick for us here. And yeah, I mean, it already is. Like, killing this would be amazing. Get that guy out of the way, stabilize this up a little bit, but the way it stands now, we're just in horrible shape. All right, well, I hope he doesn't have a trick, but we're going to take five here and try to get this thing off the table. Oh, what am I doing? I forgot about the second salt field recluse. All right, so as if his deck wasn't sweet enough, I now have to just start throwing away my creatures. I guess I only lose one here, but uh, it's just dumb. I just forgot about the second one. Yeah, well, Magic the Gathering. So I can never block profitably again. Uh, and we're going to keep drawing lands for the rest of the game. Yeah, this game's over. We do not have outs. Because these, these things completely nullify this plan. I don't think we have any more removal for this guy to try to just get that this thing off the table. But even if we did, this thing can just start attacking us. Yeah, I mean, everything can just attack us now. So I will block here. And we're just dead. All right. Well, we get one more round since it's a Swiss, so that's kind of nice. All right. So we'll see you guys in the last one.